Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Riser Dawn here, and the brand new update for Shindo Life just dropped, and I'm gonna be covering the story missions, the brand new story missions uh, that were introduced in the 0 .40 update. So today I'm gonna be just going through that, and as you guys can see, the NPCs right here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe for more exclusive SL content. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, when you click on this NPC located um, right near the police building um, on the left side of the uh, the Ember Village, you'll find this guy standing on top of this building and when you click him, he'll ask you if you want to, you know, go on a dangerous mission and defeat a rogue boss. And of course, you want to accept that and you just want to go to the point and at the point, you'll see soon that there's going to be like basically it's gonna be like waves of enemies except they're going to be more durable than the enemies that you you know fight in the regular missions so for these missions you really want to just focus on like moves like that that are aoe and multi-hit because there's gonna be more than one of them so they're gonna do a lot of damage but if you have big easy aoe moves uh, you'll kill them easily. So these rogues won't stop me. I will something 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 and then you'll just go on to the next um, wave of NPCs and fight them and They're not too hard if you have Kage specs, but Yeah, they're like once they get you in M1 combos, they, they go pretty hard. So let me just use this Yeah, that goes that goes hard on them it makes the waves so much easier and of course there are three total waves and that was the second wave now i will defeat the boss believe it and of course this is the final wave right here and the boss is actually going to be surrounded by multiple enemies or multiple um yeah multiple enemies and as you guys can see he'll spawn right there the boss is the one with the um like the kind of the logo on top of him but yeah um watch this guys oh my goodness reaper goes so so hard on this and it makes the mission so much easier of course the boss is the most tanky out of all of them so you should definitely watch out for that but yeah um overall not too bad these uh missions actually did these missions give a ton of XP, so I would definitely recommend doing them if you're a low level looking to level up. And, you know, they're not too hard either, considering, um, you know, how, I guess, um, how much, how rewarding they are. For regular missions, you'll have to do a lot of them in order to actually level up, but, oh my goodness. But yeah, for these for these missions, they don't take too long if you have strong KGs, aka bloodlines, and they give you a crap ton of XP for you to level up. So now I'm maxed, but um, you'll see in a second how much XP I get. And yeah, these missions aren't too hard either, like I said before, except this boss right here is pretty, pretty strong, but yeah, as you guys can see, I just finished them off. This will show them to never do harm again. And yeah, like I said, I was, I was maxed, but um, if you haven't checked out the Brawl Games video for the story mission, you'll see like just how, um, just how much XP you get for completing these missions. So I'm gonna be running through another one, and I guess I'll just, uh, I'll just let you guys know what abilities you guys can use um, to better your experience or chances of winning and beating these tour missions if you, if you are finding um, that these are pretty hard and challenging. So first off, I would definitely recommend that you um, that you 
basically um, equip a lot of AoE moves. Um, and yeah, I just realized that the Akuma uh, Bloodline got an update, so I'm going to be covering that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, basically what you guys want to do is equip a lot of AoE moves um, because of course you're going to be fighting multiple enemies and um, even better you equip AoE moves with high DPS so for example um, Joke, uh, Air Hockey Joke, excuse me, has high AoE as well as um, high DPS so you want to equip I guess the first move um, maybe the third move when you're fighting the boss but I would definitely recommend just using the first move and then having um having Raikin Shizen is a really good stun if you uh, the first two are really good stuns against these NPCs but yeah also the mode for air hockey Joke is absolutely brutal and as you guys can see it is it goes so hard right there it makes the process so much easier and then you want to just go on to the next wave right here I need to keep going to the boss and then of course ooh, look at that right there and then also you guys also might want to use Reaper because you can just grab all three of them and it's easy uh, mode and HP and then of course you could just finish them off with this does so much damage and then end it off with air hockey joke and then you proceed to the boss dude i'm telling you air hockey joke c spec is something else like it's so good for clearing mobs like this and it makes, it makes the story missions so much easier look at that already two dead guys that's insane and the C-Spec only has a 15 second cooldown. But yeah, as you guys can see, that third move goes hard on the boss right there. And yeah, all you have to do is... Honestly, not much. These story missions are pretty, pretty easy. So... Yeah, they're, they're pretty simple, honestly. But yeah, watch out for that boss, guys. He does teleport. But, I mean, overall, he's still really, really easy to beat. And, yeah, he should be dead almost. Not quite. But, um, yeah, he's pretty simple. He doesn't deal too much damage either. And, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if this is just, like, for my case, but... It seems like the boss is always the same, so, I mean, it would've been cool if there were different bosses, but, um, I mean, it's still a really good source of XP, so, what can I say? Uh, there you go, guys. This will show them to never do harm again, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be covering the brand new uh, Shinobi Great. I think it's called the Great Shindo Wars, I'm not really sure, but I'll be covering that next. And then of course I'm also going to be covering the um, the Bloodline updates um, with, for example, the Akuma, where it got an entire rework kind of, uh, so I'll be making a video on that. So definitely stay tuned for, um, for those videos coming up, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy this, and to subscribe for more exclusive content from me. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out.